Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I recreated Jenny and Jesus outfits using my old clothes. Without further ado, let's get started! So, I'm gonna start with a black pink Jenny. She is wearing this black crop top that she paired with a white maxi skirt. Her outfit is the easiest to make. For that, let's have the materials needed. So we need a black top, scissors, push pins, black thread, needle, measuring tape, and tailor's chalk. First step, Turn the shirt on the wrong side and mark it from where you want to crop it. Mine is uh, 2 inches away from my breasts. Then add additional 1 inch for the raw hem. Next, cut. Fold the 1 inch extra to keep the raw hem. The last step is to backstitch. If you don't know how to do the backstitching, watch my video on how I recreated Blackpink Bliss's ruched top. I will just include the link in the description box, so just check it out. That's it. We're done with Jenny's top. For the maxi skirt, it was a dress before that I just turned into coordinates. It was a piece of cake, I just separated the top from the bottom and put on the elastic. You can insert the elastic easily with the help of uh, the safety pin. Alright, so this is how it turned out. Watch out for the try on which I'll be doing later. Let's do first the outfit of Jisoo. This is the last, but definitely not the least. If you want to see more of this subject, then hit the subscribe button. Same thing with the notification bell. This is divided into two parts because it's a bit complicated compared to the first three outfits I made for Blackpink. The materials needed are black top, Scissors, yellow and black thread, needle, tailor's chalk, safety pin and push pins, and the last one, measuring tape. The first part is the making of the ruche in the middle of the stop. I'm using here the extra fabric I got from Jenny's top. Step 1, lay it carefully and use a push pin to attach it temporarily. Then 
then measure 1.5 inches for its width. Cut 1 cm away from the broken lines, then fold the 1 cm extra to give the raw hem. And draw 3 lines. They have to practice social distancing, so they are 1.25 cm away from each other. Unfortunately, I don't need to create strings since I got them from this stained mustard top. Next, backstitch following these lines. Insert the string using a safety pin. first part is done, so let us now move on to the second half. For part 2, we'll be making cute yellow flowers. The first step here is to draw the flowers. Step 2, we'll be making the so-called satin stitch. The tip here is to start in the center to prevent stitch from changing from one side of the shade to another. Remember to work on the first side first. So here is the illustration. Again, start from the center, bringing the needle from underneath to the edge of your shape at one. Put the needle down, move to the top of the shape at 2. Just repeat these steps to finish the rest of uh, the petals. demo to give you a clearer picture of the stitching.
were finally done. So let us now move on to my most favorite part, which is the try on. watching this one I hope you enjoyed it because uh, I really had fun creating this you already know the drill if you're not subscribed yet then uh, hit the subscribe button same thing with the notification bell for you to be more updated with our videos see you again next time bye